Welcome back, Warriors, to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to play Caustic in Apex Legends Season 5. Let's do it. Caustic has changed the Legend meta completely this season with a small buff he received at the beginning of Season 5. So today, I'm going to go over some tips and the ultimate guide to dominating with Caustic. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and join the Warriors to get the best tips and tricks to improve your gameplay in Apex Legends. Now let's get into some tips to help you improve that gameplay. So you want to master Caustic and his toxic gas? Well, a lot has changed in Season 5. For the longest, Caustic didn't receive any buffs or nerfs, mostly just quality of life fixes. But with the start of Season 5, he received a buff that has shaped the current meta of Apex Legends. Today I'll be going over tips such as trap placement, trap situation, gas grenade moments, and his Nox vision. Timestamps will be down in the description below if you want to jump around in the video. First up, I'm going to go over trap placement. Caustic has sort of been a team legend from the beginning, but his biggest downfall was his gas not being able to allow your teammates to do pretty much anything. Okay, It not only made visibility difficult for your teammates, but the gas slowed your teammates down, except for you. In Season 5, the slow from the gas no longer applies to your teammates. So when it comes to trap placement, just throwing them around any and everywhere was not the way to play Caustic effectively. The first thing about placing gas traps is to hide the gas traps where opposing players won't see them. Doing this gives you and your teammate a huge advantage in an upcoming gunfight, especially when setting up side of buildings, the bunker, etc. The tip to placing traps this way gives your teammate protection and gives you information. For example, placing a trap in the corner of a building so when an enemy tries to attempt to come through, it sets off the trap. The trap triggers. Or place it right behind a door, preventing the team from getting inside, which allows you and your teammates to heal, res, reload, anything. This tells you where opposing players are trying to breach your defenses. Now, if players can, can see your traps, on the other hand, out in the open, then they're going to know that a possible Cossack team is close by, or worse, just shoot your traps and destroy them, which won't allow your team to have an advantage in a firefight. Keep in mind that if an opposing player destroys your trap, it doesn't tell you that this has happened. But if a player sets off your trap, you will see an indication on your HUD, which looks like about four little lines indicating damage, which means someone just set off one of your traps. One of the biggest things that is overlooked when placing traps is attempting to run away from somebody or a fight and players are chasing you. As you turn corners, cut through buildings, anything like that breaks line of sight from the chasers, placing down traps tells you how close players are from you and exactly where they are when they set them off. This has helped me many times when playing Caustic, especially in ranked when you got all those sweaty players trying to get KP or kill points. Now the last thing I want to touch on when placing traps is caustic can hide inside of a trap and resing inside of a gas. Okay, this is a good technique, especially when there are multiple teams around fighting. You're trying to delay to heal, maybe wait out a fight or just get away. All you got to do is stand, look straight at the ground, start to duck and throw a trap down. This will hide you perfectly inside one of the traps. When resing, you have to remember that enemy players, except enemy caustics, just like bang smoke cannot see through it unless they are extremely close so no matter where you're at throw down a trap and activate it to res and it will help you protect you and your teammates the next tip i want to go over guys is trap situations caustic traps are hard to use and have a limit on how many you can place at one time starting with three to place first and then with only a 25 second recharge you can have six total traps out at one time so don't be stingy with those traps get them out there one of the biggest things i see with caustic players is saving those traps for end game setup the fact is using them in every single fight when that you get into or throwing them down on doors when you're going into houses or just anywhere will help you get into the habit of using those traps more often and will help you in almost every gunfight the next situation I want to bring up is Caustic isn't a mobile character. He doesn't have a lot of escapability. So one trick you can do is, when you're out in the open and getting shot at, throw down a trap and use it as cover. Remember, they can't see you through the gas, and a trap is just big enough to protect you from taking shots. So dropping a trap down or two and hiding behind them is a great way to reassess the situation, locate where the enemy is shooting you from, heal, maybe reload, or just buy enough time for your teammates to come help you out. This also prevents opposing players from getting too close to you, 
because they don't wanna be slowed down or take damage from your gas. The next tip I wanna go over is gas grenade moments. The Knox gas grenade blankets a large area of gas dealing stacking damage at four per tick. This is Caustic's ultimate. The gas grenade can be thrown and thrown a considerable distance. The most obvious is saving the gas grenade for the final circle offensively. When the zone gets small, the gas grenade covers a large enough area, so throwing it down into the zone where it's going to be, or when dropping down onto an enemy, is one of the most effective ways to use Caustic's ultimate. And you see the pros use it all the time. This helps your team win a match by hindering the enemy's vision so they can't see you and slowing them down, increasing your team's shots on target. The next tip to using the gas grenade is defensively, namely out in the open and inside of a building. Sometimes being out in the open makes your team vulnerable, and some players may think using Caustic's gas this way is a waste, but in actuality, like using it as a way of cover is a very, very good technique. His ultimate is often used very selectively, so using it this way defensively gives your team cover and time to move across an open area to reposition. Inside houses or closed areas is another defensive way to use the gas grenade. In case you were in a bad situation and you and your team are heavily wounded, throwing the gas grenade down can ward off enemies long enough for your team to heal and reset the fight. Now let's get into the fourth and final tip with Caustic and that is his passive Nox Vision. Nox Vision allows Caustic to see an outline of his enemies inside the gas. This is especially good while fighting inside the gas. Another great thing about Nox Vision, since the meta is currently played with Caustics all over the place, is the amount of information you receive. A good Caustic knows not to get into a you know gassy situation without calling out enemies, their locations, how low they are on health, what kind of armor that they have, and communicating this information wisely is the best way to win that fight. Now, before we end the video, guys, I have a clip right here that I want to help break down to show you how awesome and how powerful Caustic can be definitely towards the end game of any situation. In this particular end game, it's us and two other teams. We come across the Rev Alt popping off. We destroy both those guys, and me and my teammates converge on this last team that's right there in front of us, okay? We're popping off shots. My teammate is off to the right. And as you can see, we're just kind of chipping shots, dealing damage. Now, I charge in with Caustic. My teammate goes down. I immediately pop the ult. We knocked one, so they're going for the res. As you can see, my damage is ticking off. My ult, I can see inside the smoke, guys. I just move around. An opposing Caustic take no damage, but I can still see him. We drop him. That's one team down, and we got one other team to go. The emphasis here, guys, is to show how OP and how strong Caustic is. Dropping traps constantly. I can see so far with that Digi through my smoke. Okay, there's so many players that are in my smoke just taking damage or in my gas just taking constant damage and I'm just moving freely while I'm just destroying with the Prowler. Okay, we got one enemy left. Both my teammates are down. We come up and finish the fight, guys. Caustic is literally an OP legend, guys. I hope that this video has helped you guys out. If you have enjoyed today's video, a like is always appreciated. And if you want to learn more tips on how to improve your gameplay in Apex Legends, hit that subscribe button and join the Warriors. For me, Warlug, as always, guys, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.